there's a problem with the guerrillas, there's a problem with the refugees, there's a problem, you know, but there's a big problem in general. And I would say, and I would dare to say that the problem is consumers, um, consumers in developing, developed countries, developed in, I mean, I don't like to say that term, but uh, countries like the United States and, and some other countries, Europe, have, have made these countries, like Indonesia, cut down their forests because they need supply to, for this country. So the problem is not that these people are evil or they're doing a bad thing. It, they're illegal poachers because there's, it's, an in, it's incongruent um, because you say it's illegal to, to cut down the forest, but yeah, we, we need palms, you know, so people would, would do it. But we need, cal we need carbon, we're co uh, coal, then you cut down the trees. So it's illegal, but it's also that there's a need. It, it's an imbalance in, in the decisions. So um, I, I stood up to try to answer something, uh, to ask something uh, while the orangutan discussion is, and I, I'm not into are they or not, they're going to extinct in 10 years. I hope they're not, and I hope you win your bet. But <laughs> I do too. Yeah, we all do. I really hope you do. But the problem is not the orangutan, and, and I think the, the debate is not on the orangutans, it's on the, the, you know, the source of the extinction. And the source of the extinction is that there's a need for what you said, um, biofuels to bring to developed countries. So there's a bigger issue here and that we're not considering. The question is not, um, the question isn't what can we do, it's what will we do? And I think we should start answering that. This forum, there's a lot of scientists, a lot of people, and nobody's answering what will we do? That's the question, what will we do? <laughs> What will we do? Well, I'll quickly say, I'll put a plug in. We just came out with a book called A Climate for Life. It has a few nuances. Uh, and uh, you, you can go to aclimateforlife.org and uh, see the book. But we released it at the World Conservation Congress to address the very issue that you're talking about. This fragmentation and silo and compartmentalization has got to be overcome. And so the book is an interdisciplinary look at the fact that well, what do you do when biofuels needs water and takes out intact ecosystems and doesn't derive local benefits for the community? You have to come up with other alternatives. So we've, we've, for the first time in my organization in 20 years, actually a large section of the book is on global uh, energy and water problems and how do you begin to address them in a way that creates a win-win for uh, sustaining economic growth, addressing poverty issues, and uh, looking not just in the sh short term, but as you, the big issue I think is these solutions. When you scale them globally and scale them over centuries, what do they look like then? Everything looks great on a small scale, but it's the, the, the once they kind of lock in and start growing at, at such magnitude, that's where the big problems arise. And I think we need to think through and be a little bit more envisioning of uh, what the consequences are and, and nip it in the bud now by doing better systemic planning. I'll, I'll be very brief in my answer. What we are doing is really trying to take what you just said and, and try to be um, use a basin-wide or ecosystem-wide or ecoregion-wide approach to any of these problems. I don't think there are any major conservation projects that are going forward in the organization I represent anyway that is fragmented in this way, that is narrowly focused on just one, um, we're going to save this species or we're going to prevent this one problem. They, for the most part, for the most part, they tend to now try to look at um, all these different segments of society. Um, the biggest, one of the biggest projects we did in British Columbia tries to incorporate indigenous rights, job creation, um, wolf and bear habitat, and reduce you know, consumption of um, you know, the, the sort of where the logs go. So, you know, that is a great approach.